Hello guys, welcome back to Code Gems. My name is Jemmy and I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna do a tutorial on the Legend Nano S Plus. This is a long-awaited video and also a much needed one, especially after seeing multiple exchanges as big as FTX could fail just within a week. Hardware wallets are considered to be the safest option to safeguard your crypto. And other benefits of hardware wallets are basically be your own bank. Take your self-custody. Self-custodian is really important so that no government or no companies like PayPal can control our action just simply by controlling our money. That being said, the seed phrase of a hardware wallet become fundamental. If you lose your seed phrase, then you might as well say goodbye to your crypto. So today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial so that you can follow clearly each instruction. If you like this type of content where well, just go straight to point without any BS, make sure you smash up the like button and subscribe for more. So without further ado, I'm going to quickly open this. I haven't got a scissor yet, so what I'm going to do is just use a pencil. That's the savage way of doing things. So we've got the Ledger Nano S Plus. Let me quickly remove the packaging. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. So we've got the card here. Um, that's the Ledger. It really looks like a USB. And it's, I think it's slightly smaller than the Ledger Nano X. This is the Ledger Nano S Plus. I think they are trying to phase out the Ledger Nano S. But if you go to the Ledger website, I believe they're only selling three products at the moment. The Ledger Nano S Plus, which is what we've got here, the Ledger Nano X, and also the Ledger Stats. If you pre-order Ledger Nano Stats, then they'll probably arrive in roughly April 2023. So what we have got here in this orange pocket is the secret recovery sheet. I believe they have three sheets here for you to write down your seed phrase. So that's your 24 word seed phrase. We're going to use this in a bit and make sure you keep it very, very safe, very, very secure place. Let me take this out and get the cable as well. Here we got live lad in different languages. Well, we're not going to use this in a moment. Let me go ahead and take the cable because we need the cable to connect to our laptop. Here we also get a key ring if you want to attach to your ledger, but right now I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take the cable out, and this is what we need for the Ledger Live app. Next up, you'll have to go to your laptop and download Ledger Live. I'm using a Mac here, so I'm gonna click Mac app. If you're using Windows, then click Windows app. Of course, the link will be found in the description box below. Once you've downloaded, click open and install. Drag it to the application. If you go to the launch pad, then you'll be able to open it, the Ledger Live app. Click get started. Since we're using a Ledger Nano S Plus, click select. Here on this page, if you try to recover a previous device, then click the one below. But since we're just setting it up, click the first one. Click continue, continue again, continue. Click you understand and just keep clicking the button basically, get started understand recovery phase because we're gonna go through everything step by step. Once you've clicked all the continue buttons, you'll get on this page and let's take a quiz. As a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on the blockchain. Click next. If my recovery phase is no longer secure or private, no problem, Ledger can send me a copy or my crypto is no longer safe and I need to transfer them to a secure place, which is the second. Well, when I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline. Well, finish quiz. Right now, you need your cable because Ledger Nano S Plus doesn't have a battery like a Ledger X does. Once you've connected it, this will be your first page on the Ledger device. There are only two buttons on the side, so it might be a little bit intimidating the first time, but trust me, it's very easy to use. So what I'm gonna do is click the right button to the next page and click both button when you're trying to select something. So here's what I'm gonna do. Right now you have to choose your pin code. So I'm gonna click both buttons again. Since this is only for video demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna click an extremely easy one. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. 
that is going to be my pin coat. Once you're ready, click both buttons. You will have to confirm again. So one, two, three, four, and confirm. Right now is the most intimidating part because you have to write down your recovery phrase. What you have to do is grab the card in the orange pocket that I just show you in a bit. Grab a pen as well to write down your seat phrase. Here's the part where the device will generate 24 words. So you need to write that down. Once you're ready, click both button. The first word is rack. So I'm just going to write down on here. Let me remove my laptop. So the first word is rack. The second one is let me click the right button to the next page. Improve. <laughs> it's a little bit tedious, this process, but it's only going to be 24 words. So you're just going to do the exact same thing and repeat it for 24 times. Five minutes later. When you're ready, click both buttons to confirm. What you have to do right here is to re-enter what you just written down. Right now they're asking for the first word. The first word is going to be rack. So I'm just going to click the right button until I find the word rack. Once you've got it, click both buttons to confirm. The second one is improve. Again, the whole process is very tedious, but we're getting there. Two hours later. And the last one is going to be luggage. So your recovery phrase is all set and click the next page. Make sure you keep this sheet very, very secure. Put it in the safe or something. Make sure it's fireproof, make sure it's waterproof. If you lost it or damaged and you don't remember your 24 receipt phrase, and there's absolutely no way of recovering your crypto. Also, make sure you don't show this to anyone because anyone with these magical 24 words will be able to steal your crypto away. Since I'm only doing this for video demonstration purposes and I'm also going to wipe out the device. Once you're ready, click both buttons. So your device is ready, it's all set. What you have to do right now is go back to your laptop, click Allow Ledger Manager, which is the Ledger Live app, and let it to load. All good, let's click continue. So here we are, we are on this first page of the Ledger Live app. Right now, I don't have any money yet, so what I'm gonna do is to send some, a little bit of crypto from my Binance to the Ledger Live app. Today, I'm trying to send some Ethereum. So what I'm gonna do is to add account and click Ethereum, continue. There are actually multiple applications to be installed for different coins. If you are trying to send Ethereum away, then you have to download the Ethereum app. Click open Ethereum app and let it load again. So right now Ethereum is installing, give it a few more seconds, should be done. All right, so we are ready to mingle. Click open app, application is ready. Click add account and confirm. If you go to account, you'll probably see Ethereum right here. If you're trying to send Bitcoin instead, then you have to add another account, choose Bitcoin, just exactly those steps we just did. We are ready to send some crypto to our Ledger device. So go to the receive tab, click continue because we're trying to receive Ethereum. We have successfully got our Ethereum wallet, but what I will usually do is to show the QR code because I'm withdrawing on my phone, on my Binance on the phone. So it's easier to just scan the code. But always remember, never send all of your money on the first time. Always send the minimal amount so that you can test the wallet first. Once you have tested out and got the money on your wallet, then you can send the rest. Next, you would like to go to exchange. I'm currently on Binance, but I also use Bybit quite a lot these days. So I've got a little bit of Ethereum on Binance. I want to hit withdraw, send it via crypto network and click the scanner on the right side and scan the QR code. Well, I've just generated on the Ledger app device. Click Ethereum since we are using the ERC20 chain. Hit 
hit confirm. As I just mentioned, always send the minimal amount to test out the wallet first. So the minimum amount is 0.0098, and that is exactly what I'm going to do, 0.0098. You do have to pay a little bit of network fee once you AK with everything, click withdraw. You probably have to wait a few minutes for your Ethereum to pop up, sometimes a little bit longer if the network is congested. If you've got your money on your first time, then go ahead and send the rest a second time. One misconception I would like to clear that in the video is that a lot of people seem to think your crypto will be stored on the ledger device, which is not the case. You can lose the device and it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter because you need to pay and buy a new one, right? But as long as you've got your seed phrase with you, you can always recover your fund. Personally, I use the Ledger X device the most. If you want to order your own Ledger device, you can use my link down in the description box below. That is a direct link to the Ledger website because there's so many scam links out there to tempt you to order a tempered device which you can potentially risk on your crypto. I'll also do a Ledger stats tutorial once I've got my order. I'm really excited for the newest device. It has a Kindle touchscreen look. Obviously, I haven't got the device yet, but it looks amazing on those demo video. Let me know if you like this type of content because I I don't really do tutorials on crypto gems. I've done multiple tutorials on box mining, but this is my first time on this channel. So let me know if you find this style working for you. In the meanwhile, if you also want more regular updates from me, make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys in the next one.